And now at this point, we, we I, I just want to uh, read some of the comments that we have. Yes. And there are a lot of really nice comments. So this the first one is from Shantana. She said, Hi. love you from Thailand. Aw, I love Thailand. That's one of the places I went with Vanessa. Love Thailand. Yeah, and then the second one is um, from, Vietnam, from a fan from Vietnam. You are so beautiful, Stephanie. Aw, thank you. You know, I've actually, I've never been to Vietnam yet. So hopefully you after the whole COVID, I can go. I haven't been to Vietnam or Japan. I, I, I know the national director of Vietnam. I can tell her. Well, <laughs> well like, I'd love to go to Vietnam. <laughs> and now the next is from Mark. And he said, cheers, Miss Puerto Rico love from QZ Philippines. Hi, Mark. Lots of love. Yeah, And uh, Hill, she is so genuine. Thank you. It's so sweet. <laughs> yeah. And uh, someone, uh, Hill also commented, holy beep. I think this was a comment earlier. <laughs> yeah, when you, you said you're holy beep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, Manny Vendrell said, you're the best queen ever. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, and Leona Magalona. I saw her in person when I watched Mr. World. Gosh, she's so gorgeous. Drop dead gorgeous. I have thank to agree. You. Thank you. Like, thank I, you so much. I, I mentioned this to Stephen earlier when I first met you in Tuloy. I was mm -hmm. like, she's so pretty. As, I was so speechless. And I was, and it was to like, Amir. I, and I, oh, I said, like, yeah, I told you guys, she's really <laughs> stunning because I already saw you in person in 2016. Like, oh, gosh, yeah. you know, she's stunning. <laughs> oh, thank you, guys. Yeah, and then uh, Dave Rosado. Stephanie is one of the greatest Miss World in history. Really proud of you. Oh, when people say things like that, it just it fills my heart so much because it, it like goes back to that moment to when the stage crew um, told me that. Like, I really it it makes me so happy because I really got to um, achieve what I wanted to achieve, which was, you know, make a difference and have people remember me for the things that I've done rather than like for the amount of followers that I have or something like that, you know, like I, I it makes me so, so, so happy. Yeah, and the <laughs> next com the next comment came from Valeria Vasquez of Miss International <gasps> 2018. Tan Hermosa, beautiful heart and aura. Love you, gorgeous. Sorry, not sorry, but the best Miss World ever. <laughs> it's not like she has a bias or anything. Her and I were <laughs> we're, we're super good friends. I love you, Valeria. Mwah. Yeah, and we've interviewed her like a few weeks ago. She's also yeah. very well spoken, very mm -hmm. beautiful, very bubbly woman. I another, also love her. She's so smart. Like I, she is. whenever I talk to her, I'm also like, I feel like I'm not smart enough to talk to you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. The next comment is from Diana. Queen indeed, passion, compassion. Aww. I think those are the words. Look, her name is Diana Diaz, like my it's mom. my sister, actually. She's watching. Really? That's my yeah. mom's name, Diana Diaz. Uh, yeah. The, and your mom's name is Diana Diaz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh hey, actually, Diana. actually, the next comment came from mommy, Diana oh, Diaz. Mom. <laughs> hi, hi, mom. hi, mom. Hi, nice seeing you. Beautiful interview. Thank you, mommy, for watching. That's so funny. And, you, oh, and so I have to cool. say, mommy, you raised a really good and very, very nice daughter. Yeah. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah. And another one from Rios, Josh. Lovely queen. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I, I just love reading all these comments. Uh, I think this is the first time that we read, actually read most of the comments because they're really, really good comments. Oh, that's so good. That's so good yeah. to hear. Gustavo Noriega, she's amazing and proves she's worthy of the title. One of the best Miss Red and her work proves it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I'm so happy with these comments. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> yeah, so before we move forward, I just wanna ask you for a a short um, message to all the fans and supporters. You can also speak in Spanish for your uh, Latino supporters. Of course. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, to everybody, first of all, at Missology, I am so happy that we have a platform with people as dedicated as all of you for the work and the accomplishments that girls like me that like girls like me want to achieve. So thank you, first of all, for always being there and for always supporting us in everything that we do. Um, to everybody that is followers of Misosology, like stay tuned because every single content that you need to know about pageant about the pageant world is always here first. <laughs> <laughs> 
um, and to to all of you as well who who support me. Thank you so much for 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 that support. I wouldn't I wouldn't be where I am if I didn't have constant support from people like all of you. A todos en Puerto Rico, a todos uh, por toda Latinoamérica. Muchísimas gracias. Siempre también por el apoyo. Los quiero muchísimo, muchísimo, muchísimo. Eh, y siempre estoy tan agradecida por, por el apoyo que tengo con que, que ustedes me brindan. Así que muchas gracias. Y stay safe, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for that, Stephanie. And now we move on to the last part of our interview, unfortunately. Um, the, the first part. question is, um, yeah. <laughs> So earlier you mentioned that you've always wanted to do uh, Broadway, to be on the stage. And I know for a fact that you're a good singer. So any plans in the future of venturing into the entertainment industry? Well, hopefully, yes. At the minute, I have, you know, my people now in Los Angeles. I have a manager. I have a PR. So um, hopefully... Um, I was actually supposed to be in LA now, but obviously COVID has kind of put a pause on everything um, but hopefully I'll be able to go and to start my my career in acting because I dedicated so much time and so much heart to to Miss World that now I feel like I need to do my thing kind of and 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 follow follow my dreams and another one um, the next question is uh, what is your message to all the girls who wants to follow your footsteps and wants to be Miss World if you want to follow my footsteps and become Miss World, first thing I'm gonna say is do it. Definitely do it. It's 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 something that, that you're going to fall in love with. Um, but remember that competing for Miss, for Miss World or for whatever competition you decide to go to, it is not only a huge honor, but it is also a massive responsibility. So, if you're gonna do it, like I said before, make sure to have this compassion, make sure to have that passion, um, have have the dedication, have the discipline, because it's very important. Know that it's not an easy route. Know that you're gonna face lots of challenges. Um, you might face criticism online, you might face lack of support, um, but know that in the end, everything that you learn and everything that you experience, um, is, is gonna stay with you for the rest of your life. And even if you don't get the end result that you were hoping for, everything that you had to do to prepare for that final night or everything that you ha or everybody that you met along the way shaped you and has helped you become this incredible, smart person, you know? So go and follow your dreams, do it. Know that it's hard because nothing, nothing, nothing comes easy but know that it's worth it. And that if you really, really want to do it, don't waste any time, just go for it. Very well said. <laughs> and at this point, I want to pass the mic to Stephen for his mm -hmm. usual question. No, no, I think she already answered it because I usually okay. ask the question, how do you see yourself three to five years? But yeah, um, hopefully I'll be able to see you in Hollywood. Hopefully or Hollywood. Not, on Broadway. Or, you know, three to five years. So I see myself like, either performing at the Tonys for best musical or whatever yeah. <laughs> yeah. or or being nominated for an Oscar who knows oh, you're nominated for Tonys yeah uh, as well <laughs> yeah. actually you reminded me uh, I don't know if you're watching this TV series because I've been watching selling sunset which is yes. a um, your your the, your mood of speaking um, reminds me of Chriselle. Really? <laughs> I don't know if you know her. Um, no, yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the show. I've been watching. I, I finished, like, as soon as the third season came out, I watched it in, like, Yeah, a I'm now on, like, a fourth episode. Um, you remind me of Chriselle, the way she speaks, you know, like, yeah. the art. The, but more oh, than that. Yeah, she's a very incredible yeah, woman. So I like her. She's, like, one of my favorites there. And yeah. uh, more than that, actually, you really reminded me of Ali Landry. Who was Miss USA 1996? Really? Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just like every time you speak, it's like she's so Ali Landry. <laughs> <laughs> well, and she you. eventually she became she became uh, an actress in in Hollywood. And uh, yeah. well, you you know, I think you have you have the aura of oh, making you. it into Hollywood. And Miss World usually has a very good track when it comes to yes. hitting it on Hollywood. 
Yes. And I have to say that, you know, you the Miss World winners, even finalists, you have a pretty good record. Yeah. I, I don't know why. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's the water we're drinking at the competition. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. But yeah, it's but, true, actually, now that you mention it, a lot of a lot of Miss Worlds have done and, and Miss World finalists have done really well. Yeah, bomb girls. Hollywood, Bollywood, like just in the film industry in general. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So uh, you, no, the odds are on you. The lucky few, right? <laughs> Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing you on stage. I hope yeah. they remember this 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 um this Interview. thing that we're doing. Oh, you know, just <laughs> when, when my movie comes out, I hope to have this bit like screen recorded and posted everywhere. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and now before I ask the final question, I just I just remember that this one video that I really really like from your Instagram, and it, it was you singing with your um. Miss World family and the mm -hmm. boss. Yeah. I think it was in Sanya. So can you tell us more about that? Um, sure. Okay. So you know how like on those big coaches, there's always like a microphone for when people go on tours, the tour guide's like, oh yeah, to your right, you see the Great Wall of China or whatever it is that um, you're seeing. Um, and it, it comes a point, we'll be at an event and you know, the girls are tired and we're all sitting in the bus together. And it's like, if it, it's either right before dinner or at the end of an event, so everyone's ready to go to bed. And we try to make those moments fun. Um, it's moments where we are on the bus, so you have nothing to worry about. You don't have to worry about rehearsal. You don't have to worry about uh, your interview. You don't have to worry about anything. You just have to, it's like a moment that you get to relax. And so we ask all of the contestants actually to come up and sing a song. And some of the girls do like perform their talent and they do like a whole talent <laughs> show on the bus or 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 some of the girls, they just go up for fun, like if it's karaoke night and just have a good time. And a lot of the time after a few of the of the contestants have sung, since they know that I sing, they always start chanting like Stephanie, Stephanie, like just <laughs> all sing. And you know, a lot of the time I'm like, I really don't want to because <laughs> I get nervous. Uh -huh. um, but then, you know, I have, they, they keep chanting and you can't say no at that moment. You can't say no to, to, to the contestants. So, so I go up and I sing for them. Sometimes it's standing, sometimes it's sitting. Depends on the bus, right? If there's a lot of traffic, I can stand. Yeah. I think and if I is. remember it, it's usually always a Disney song that you yes. sing. Yeah, those are my go-to. <laughs> and that's also the ones that they ask for, for some reason. Mm -hmm. Because they think that I love Disney and I love all the songs. So, um... They always ask for Disney songs. Sometimes, like the girls that are um, the like more that they, that follow musical theater and stuff will ask for the musical theater songs. Um, but a lot of the time, it's just it's just a moment for like the crew of Miss World and the contestants to just like relax and have fun. And it's it's one of my my favorite things that that we do. We just want to chill and have a good time. We make each other laugh. Every everybody gets up there. You know, and 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 does a little song, whether it's really good or if it was really bad. Like we just, mm -hmm. it was. It, it, everyone just has fun, and 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 I love that. I love sharing with the crew, especially that moment. I wish I downloaded the video so we can show it now. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was really fun. Like Stephanie was singing with the singing for the Miss World staff and and mm -hmm. the coach. Yeah, it was so fun. It was so the, fun. The, the staff sits in the front, and then all the contestants are like farther back. So yes. it, that's like, the, the reason I sang that song was because the contestants asked for it, but then I sat where I was sitting because the crew was like, no, sit here. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say, because I, I've covered a lot of uh, international pageants and some of the most memorable moments were always on the bus. On the bus. Yes. yes. Especially when you are with the Latinas. Yes. Yeah, you and never the girls sleep. Have to put all the music as well. That's something else that they do. If the girl, if we're not singing, like we just play music because it's a moment, like I said, where we can just relax, have a good time, enjoy each other's company, and and it's it's of the few moments where there's no pressure of any kind. There's no rehearsal. We don't have to like we have to be there at a certain time, but it's the bus's fault, not ours. So you just yeah, like you just you uh -huh. can just enjoy and 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 as well, the bus is really cool because that's when you get to talk to a lot of the girls that you normally don't talk to. So it's it's really fun. 